So I am back with more cyberpunk goodness. And guys, if you like what you see and want to see more, drop a like and subscribe. So today we cover a few bits and bobs I think people may have missed from the new information we've had over the past few days with the Night City Wire 4 stream also. But before we go any further with the video guys, I'm giving away copies of this game to be with a chance of winning one drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below winners will be announced a week before this game's release so let's get into it people now after having another look at the night city wire episode 4 i found a few other things i feel you guys will definitely want to know and you may have just missed so within the stream we obviously saw holly chatting with paul about various different things to do with vehicles and more but did any of you guys notice his t-shirt well, it's the same t-shirt we see Clean Face V wearing within the diner trailer. Check it out. Yes, guys, my eagle eyes don't miss anything. So next up, people, you guys know who this is. We got a quick glimpse of him within the Becoming Samurai bringing Johnny Silverhand to life video from ages back. He's known in the cyberpunk world as Kerry Urodyne. He is a part of Johnny's band Samurai. With a few more details about him on screen now if you don't know who this dude is. Now within the 2077 install trailer we see this guy. Now I might be speculating here but I actually think this is also Kerry Urodyne. And they've either updated his look or he has had a few implants applied with that age. And I think this because the tattoos are the exact same on both people. Now it could be a different person altogether. But I think that's who this might be. I think it is Kerry Urodyne. But obviously a much older person like I said in that 2077 timeline enjoying his epic view of Night City from his North Oak mansion. Another thing we see which I don't think many people picked up on was another scene within the 2077 install trailer with what seemed to be a kid who had augmented arms. So this could be kind of sad if this is. It seems within the world of cyberpunk you are never too young. Or on the flip note, maybe this child was born with a missing limb or had to have one amputated due to an accident and this augmentation has given them a better chance at life, but it is cool to think about. Okay, so next up guys, a new look at Lizzie Wizzy. Well, proper in-game footage anyway. I mean, we've seen her within a trailer a while back, I believe at some kind of celebrity event. And we saw her on the cover of the recent Cyber Magazine also. But here we actually see her properly and we actually hear her too. Now a brief description of who this is you can see on screen now if you do not know. These hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brushed something and sparks fly. Next up I noticed something I haven't seen anybody else mention. And this wasn't even a part of the recent Night City Wire episode 4 stream. It's from the brain dance gameplay we got a while back. And it involves Judy Alvarez. Anyone notice her tattoos here? Ghost in the shell much people? Which is also incredible. And I ain't talking about the Scarlett Johansson film either. I'm talking about the old school manga. Definitely worth a watch if you can find it guys. Also the tattoo below this. These are song lyrics from Radiohead's Pyramid song. And well I love a good easter egg that is for sure. Okay so lastly guys and after watching what we have seen with these trailers over and over and over and over again I noticed a few strange things but also intriguing at the same time. I actually think somewhere within Cyberpunk 2077 we get to play as Johnny Silverhand. Now hear me out and look at these facts. Within the 2077 install trailer we see a few gameplay shots of us within the eyes of Johnny Silverhand. We see a quick glimpse just before the new character customization hood pops up seen here i mean it's hard to make out but that's definitely johnny's left arm with that weapon further on in the trailer we see a glimpse of johnny on stage holding his weapon and that mic but it gets even more interesting because the very next scene within this trailer we see johnny gripping someone up within what i believe is probably a club bathroom and we know this because we can see the reflection of johnny in that mirror so does this mean we will play a part of johnny well guys what I actually think this is, is a brain dance sequence of some sort in which we will relive on behalf of Johnny Silverhand where we briefly get to experience some of his brain dance recordings, which to me sounds super cool. If we get to experience what it's like being a rocker boy, maybe even get to drive his Porsche, who knows. But yeah guys I am super interested to know what you think about this, so let me know down below. But yes people, that is it for another video. Remember if you want to see more make sure you subscribe and if you like the video hitting that thumbs up truly helps me out. But guys the end of the video has arrived, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you on that next one.